Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this episode of Review Flix, we're going to be talking about some gaming news, specifically the Tomb Raider Remastered Collections. And it looks like Crystal Dynamics, the company behind the game, have decided to put trigger warnings, letting people know that there's harmful representations of people within the games. So if you are new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the movie, streaming and gaming news we have going on on this channel. But with that down, we're going to be jumping into this comic flick news article. So, Tomb Raider Remasters, Uncensored, Condemning Original Games, Harmful Impact. So, apparently, according to Crystal Dynamic, there's harmful depictions of people within this game. I have no idea who they are or, you know, who these people are supposed to have been harmed by. And uh, nobody's ever came forward to complain about this. But for some reason, everything in this day and age has to have trigger warnings, whether it's, you know, games, movies, TV shows. And um, it looks like the political correctness police have been on the prowl once again. And um, they've decided to put trigger warnings in the game. But let's have a read and see if we can clear up what's going on uh, with the Tomb Raider remastered games. So Crystal Dynamics has announced that their upcoming remasters of the first three Tomb Raider games will have release uncensored. But with disclaimer decrying the supposed harmful impact of the series on players. This move has stirred controversy and debate within the gaming community. So yeah, when it comes to things like this, there's so many thoughts, comments, and opinions out there regarding these kind of trigger warnings in the media that we consume. But at the end of the day, I have to be realistic about it. It doesn't change, you know, the um, the game at all. You know, you can still play the game as it was. As it says at the beginning of this article, you know, the game's going to remain uncensored, unchanged, but obviously updated to reflect, you know, newer technology in the remaster. But um, it's just going to have that trigger warning. So ultimately, it doesn't change the experience you're going to have with the game. But still, a lot of people have very strong opinions when it comes to these kind of trigger warnings in media. And um, whether people are right or wrong to hate them or, you know, to be for them, that's up to them. But um, it does cause a lot of controversy, that's for sure. So, the disclaimer discovered by Tomb Raider Chronicles, ahead of the remastered trilogy collection release, informs players of offensive depictions of people and cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudices. Uh, Crystal Dynamics states that these stereotypes are deeply harmful and do not align with our values, yet they have chosen to present the content in its original form, unaltered in the hopes of acknowledging its impact and promotion uh, learning from it. So, I'm not exactly sure what these depictions are that don't align with their values who exactly is it harming is there any particular group that has come forward in the news that i'm not aware of um that have actually complained about this about not being represented who is actually this trigger warning for like do people actually care about this kind of stuff you know is it you know as bad as what they're saying that it's harmful deeply harmful to people i'm not really sure Guys, jump into the comment section and let me know what you think about this. If you played the original Tomb Raider series, is there anything in there that you would find harmful about depicting the people in the games? I'm not sure I see it, but maybe you do. Let's keep reading. So, we have the official notice here that you'll find in the game. So, the game in this collection contains offensive depictions of people and cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudices. These stereotypes are deeply harmful, inexcusable, and do not align with our values at Crystal Dynamics. Rather than removing this content, we have chosen to present it here in its original form, unaltered in the hopes that we may acknowledge its harmful impact and learn from it. So what is this harmful impact and who are these people that, you know, have been harmed due to this kind of Tomb Raider content? You know, I'm not sure who this is, but guys, inform me if I'm not, you know, if I'm not up to date with the news here, but, um... I don't know of any group that have come forward to kind of complain about this. And um, yeah, I think it's just political correctness just going overboard. So the decision to include such disclaimer has been met with criticism, as they always do, with many labeling it as political virtual signaling. The use of the term harmful impact to describe the game's visual representation has been questioned and there is no evidence to suggest the individuals has suffered harm as a result. Yeah, this is the thing. I mean, like I said already, I mean, what group have been harmed? Where, where is the proof that anybody has been harmed by any of this content that's been featured in, you know, the earlier Tomb Raider games? I don't see it. Maybe some people do. But, um, you know, I don't know. I think it's just a case of Crystal Dynamics just trying to cover their backside. They're scared that the woke police are going to come after them. So rather than having, you know, the political correctness and the woke mob kind of trying to take them down, they thought, you know what, let's just put this message here because it makes everyone happy. Although it does it really. Um, yeah, and they're, basic, they're just trying to cover their backside, basically. 
So however, this move also represents a broader trend within the gaming industry, not just in the gaming industry, pretty much in all industries, like I said, movies, TVs, gaming, magazines, comics, all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, there's these trigger warnings popping up all over the place. And um, it's just kind of crazy to some degree, you know. So as more gamers, uh, sorry, as more games receive remasters or remakes, developers often alter content to appeal to wider audiences, which can be seen as a disservice to the original creative vision. Absolutely, I completely agree with that. If you're remastering an old game, there's certain lines that you can and can't cross. Once you cross that certain threshold, then you're changing too much of the original content. It's no longer a remaster and you're changing too much of that source material. So by representing the game in its original form, while also acknowledging criticisms, Crystal Dynamics aims to strike a balance between artistic, integri artistic integrity sorry, and, addressing, and addressing societal concerns. Nobody, I don't know of anybody who's concerned about this. I've not heard of one person, one murmur, one complaint, one Twitter post. I've not seen anybody complain about, you know, the representation in those games. But um, like I say, Crystal Dynamics, I get it. They're a company. They're trying to, you know, fit in with today's world. You know, you have to place these trigger warnings and they just don't want the woke mob coming after them and trying to cancel them. So I do get it to a certain extent. I don't like the trigger warnings being there because I think it's stupid. But um, I kind of get it from a business perspective. They're trying to make money. They would rather play it safe. So I do get it, you know, to some degree. Um, we have this cool gif here of the kind of Tomb Raider, the game here. You can see the transition here from the old game to the current um, remaster, which is really cool. It actually looks really nice what they've done with this game. And I'm actually really excited to play this. I grew up in the 90s. Tomb Raider was one of the very big first franchise, gaming franchises I ever played. And um, I'm looking, I'm excited to jump back into it. It's been 20 plus years since I've played these old games. So um, nostalgia will be a huge factor for me, that's for sure. So, while some argue that such warnings are unnecessary and um, infantilizing to audiences, others see it as a positive step towards addressing sensitive topics in gaming. This debate reflects ongoing discussions within the industry regarding censorship, artistic expression, and social responsibility. Yeah, the thing is, sometimes you can have the opposite effect, because if you put one of these trigger warnings in your um, media, uh, in this case gaming, it can actually have the opposite effect, because the people, um, you know, who... Um, see it as kind of stupid and ridiculous you can actually piss them off by having these trigger warnings so even though you're playing it safe um you can piss a lot of people off by ha having these kind of virtual signaling messages in your content so tomb raider uh, one through three remastered it's not the first title to include such a disclaimer last april capcom released the Mega Man battle network with a similar warning see below describing its content as insensitive these instances highlight the complexities of navigating cultural sensitivities and artistic expression in the gaming landscape. So this message came here from the Mega Man game. Capcom values diversity and inclus inclusive, uh, if I can say that right, Capcom values diversity and inclusivity within its game and its community. Please be aware that the games in this collection may contain some cases of insensitive cultural depictions that are presented as originally created to preserve their authentic authenticity. To be honest, when I have to think about it, I would rather have one of these warnings at the beginning of a game rather than, you know, the actual developer going back in and then censoring or changing the game in some degree. I would rather have the warning than the altered content when I think about it. But still, I think these messages are kind of crazy and ridiculous. It's too over the top. We don't need trigger warnings for this stuff. People are smart enough to know, you know, the correct depictions of certain communities. And if they find something offensive, turn the game off and don't play it. It's as simple as that. So what are your thoughts on inclusion and disclaimers in video game? Uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on inclusion of disclaimers in video game remasters to address potentially sensitive content? Do you believe it's a necessary step towards promoting awareness and discussion? Or do you see it as unnecessary censorship that detracts from the original artistic vision? We'd love to hear your perspective. So feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Yeah, in this case though, they're not censoring anything. So there's no censorship here. They're just putting in a message. Which I say, again, I get it, they're a business, they want to play it safe, they don't want the woke mob coming after them, so I get it. But at the same time, it's kind of like, in this day and age, people are getting sick and tired of this kind of virtual signaling, kind of political correctness with everything now. You know, um, people get it that certain types of media are from different time periods, they see, you know, culture in different ways and throughout history. People are smart enough to understand this. And um, we don't need these ridiculous kind of messages kind of hand-walking us through that. We kind of, you know, we're smart enough to understand. 
But guys, jump into the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Is this something that kind of pisses you off or do you completely understand it from a business perspective? What do you think about these kind of trigger warnings in games and other media content? I'd love to know what you think about it. Thank you so much for watching and um, I will see you soon.